I came down to the London International Music Show for a better music experience really. I play the drums. I've been on the electronic drum kits, and bass guitars, electric guitars. A lot of the people have been really friendly and helpful, just you know, helping you out, showing you how to do it and stuff. Infidels are destroyers of the old, creators of the new. Also, we're non-believers in politics, religion, society. Um, so that kind of fitted us pretty aptly. And also, it's one of Bob Dylan's worst albums. So we decided if we're going to name ourselves after a Dylan album, we should do it after the, one of the worst ones he made, because he's obviously a genius. I went to the lecture about uh, careers in music because it was um, pretty relevant to the modern student who's interested in it because of the uh, of the you want to do when you finish is try and decide what to do. So it's good to see what your options are and hear it straight from the horse's mouth as well. If you're a kid who's not got loads of money but you really want to have a go on the drums and stuff you may never get the chance and maybe the first time some of those people have a go on the drums or have a go on a guitar through a proper amp you know you're not allowed to plug in your amp at home because it makes too much noise the neighbors get on you so there's a new thing called rock band on the playstation and stuff like that which is good fun and stuff but really like those people should just be picking up an instrument and i think the more encouragement people have to pick up an instrument the better for the industry really We've done 18 months touring and I can tell you what the injuries were after that. We had um, one broken leg, one dislocated knee, uh, one fractured shoulder and uh, one voice box that went completely dry for a month or so. So yeah, I can tell you that that's the kind of injuries that you pick up on an 18 month tour. But funny stories are probably not allowed, I wouldn't put them on the film to be honest, too incriminating. I've gone around and I've like I've tried out all the guitars and I've played with all the gear. I've got loads of the fun freebies. I've met lots of great people. But um, I saw the the Radio One interview earlier and that was pretty good. He was just talking about how people shouldn't be afraid to send in their demos because so many people are and a lot of the bands that um, that are signed really shouldn't be. <laughs> but there's still a lot of like just undiscovered talent out there and they shouldn't be afraid to send their music in because it will get listened to. I just I want to keep doing music for my future somehow. It's music, I hope. <laughs> If you think, oh, we'd really like to get a record deal, or we'd really like to tour and be in a band and do it full time, then just start doing it. Don't wait for anyone else. Get your own records out, get your own tours set up, and dedicate yourself to it, basically. And what the, the biggest thing I think is like, you know, the people who stay dedicated tend to win out in the end. It's not an easy game. You've got to be a tough cookie, willing to make those sacrifices, and determined. And if you're all those three things and some talent as well, you know, you'll be all right.